Welcome to the Race Crews Weekend Show. For those of you in the USA, hopefully you survived Black Friday. I stayed home, didn't go anywhere. I just didn't see anything in particular that I needed to get. Uh, in years past, there was some great deals on computers. So bought a couple computers for the kids a few years ago. But lately, really, not a whole lot of fantastic sales. Nothing to get me out of bed. Yeah, Walmart had a 50-pack of cars for $25, but they were all reissues. Nothing nothing I didn't have or any. For, for some people, it's a great deal. 25 bucks for 50 cars, you know. I mean, nothing in particular. Later on in the show, we're going to give you a little uh, behind the scenes. In the second segment, I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes, scenes in the warehouse. Let you know some things that are going on, and it has to do with epic track battles. So... Stay tuned for that. I want to I want to start off with some serious information to begin with. Uh, Elsa Gate. There's there's all sorts of terms for what's going on. You know, YouTube uh, Adpocalypse two three four whatever this is now. It can't can't keep track. But yeah, it seems like a bunch of uh, kids channels kids channels uh, losing billions of views. YouTube uh, deleting channels. Deleting, deleting channels, deleting videos, a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, I don't know exactly what the parameters are, uh, but I've been telling people, you know, you need to be cautious. Uh, some, some of those channels were dressing up in, with, in Joker and Elsa and doing skits. Some of those skits weren't family-friendly skits, and then the kids start watching them. So I want to take this moment to remind parents, I hope parents are listening, that you need to supervise your kids. You need to make sure what are they watching. Uh, when I was at the convention, um, I was loading up the truck, and we were taking off uh, after the Sunday show. We were done with the whole convention. Sunday show, we already been a couple hours, did a little shopping or whatnot, saying goodbye to friends at the convention, loading up the truck, and I'm talking with the kids, and one, one of the moms, uh, hey, are you race crews? So... It was pretty cool that she recognized my voice, so we chatted. Her, her husband, and her son. And the boy's a little shy. You know you know how the youngest ones are. You take them to Disneyland, they're all excited. And then they get to meet Mickey Mouse, and then they don't want to meet Mickey Mouse. So, yeah, I'm Mickey Mouse. But anyways, so we get to have a nice chat with the family. But you know what her son would do? Mom, this video is by Ray Screws. Can I watch it? And the mom knows automatically, Ray Screws, clean, period, clean. I monitor the comments. Now, I, this is what I want to make sure parents are paying attention to. If your kids have channels, you need to supervise their channels as well. You need to you need to monitor their comments. As a matter of fact, you can go into YouTube's settings and put a setting to where you can have no comments at all. But then the kids kind of want to interact with their friends, right? You can also have settings to where uh, hold all comments at, until I authorize them. So that's what I recommend parents do for their minors, for their youngest children, um, who aren't supposed to have their accounts to begin with, but you decide what age is appropriate for your kid. But you can hold all comments until you want to approve them so you what's, you see what's going on. Now, some of these channels, they everybody wants to make money, right? So they start noticing certain videos make more money. Even families who do videos with their kids and then they say oh that got popular let's just do more of that but yeah you don't know why it got popular uh you're gonna have to do a little homework i can't i can't talk about it here on my family channel right certain things might be innocent enough for a family video but other people perceive it in a different manner so you should go to your youtube analytics look at your demographics and like mine, it's probably it's between 60 and 40, 40 and 60, 50, 50, men and women, right? Uh, yeah, okay, obviously my channel is going to be have more men or boys watching. But the reason why it's almost split is because, well, a lot of the kids are home with their mom during the day or with their mom. And if they're going to watch the stuff, well, it's logged into the mom's account. So that's why I wind up having a large percentage of women. But if you check one of your popular videos and it's 90% men, 40 and over, you need to look at that, okay? Because that's not the type of demographic that you should have watching your kids' videos or even your family videos if you have a very popular video. 
And I'm kind of trying to be cautious what I say. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and let's move on to a lighter note, okay? Uh, I had talked about people had asked, hey, are you going to do a race group subscri subscription box? I had thought about it, and I do not have the following that's large enough for me to have a subscription box. Can I do certain things in the future? Yes, I can do certain things in the future. However, Hot Wheels are a big name brand. So there is a, uh, a, an organization, an outfit that is going to have a Hot Wheels subscription box. And the link's down in the description below. It is an affiliate link. I get a little something for you joining. You pay the same price no matter if you use the link or not. But if you use the link, obviously it helps me hear what I do for you and your family. Provide uh, for family-friendly entertainment for the kids and for collectors alike. So you can check out the play box below, the link below. And I'm supposed to get it, like, it's not supposed to be shipping until, like, mid-December. They say they're going to get it out by Christmas, okay? Um, I hate, I don't know for sure. I'm only doing, I'm going to review the box. When I get the box, I'll do a review and I'll check it out. But in looking what it is, you know, it's affordable. I like subscription boxes, right? I didn't wear one of my, uh, my subscription T-shirts, but, um, you know, it's kind of fun. And for kids, it's like Hot Wheels. It looks... This picture, right, I had to think a second. This picture right here, it shows what's in the first box. Exclusive t-shirt. You get a track part, get a piece of track, you get some cars. And they say you're supposed to get cars, you're supposed to have a car in there. I read somewhere that you're supposed to get a little early. I don't know. We'll have to find out. I don't know. Anyways, link's in the below, and it is an affiliate link. Thank you very much. Now, recently, I had done a review on the Turbo Race set. It was all right. Now, Drop Down Challenge. I like that one a little bit better. So, definitely like that one. And Dave, thanks for reviewing it. As far as a good starter set, I would like a fair start and finish. That tells me who won. I was looking at the three-lane wavy track, if you know what I mean. While it has a fantastic fair start, it doesn't have a fair finish. It has two separate flags. So, as soon as both cars hit the flags, they both go. You can't tell who won unless you're... And not only that, the way they set it up, it goes like this. So one car, the flags are popping over here, and the other flag's popping over here. Well, how can you see which flag popped up first? It's too hard. That being said, I like it so much, so I bought another set. I decided, you know what, uh, something about the parts I can use in track time. And it's a good starter set for you, because you can do the layout however you want to use the parts. That's why I like it a lot better than Turbo, whatever the other set was. Now... I had recently reviewed the Power Loop set, and there was an older version and, and an older version. Well, the older version, the box I bought used from somebody had all the parts except for the cars. Well, guess what? A sealed box showed up on eBay. I wanted to see what the cars looked like. Let's check it out. Here's the older box. I had bought it. It was already opened up. No cars were with the set anymore. Here's the newest one I acquired, factory sealed box of the first release. This box is in fantastic shape, and I'm going to keep it for display. I'm going to open it carefully. There's one of the cars, and there's the other car. Zinder Fact 4 is one of the cars that are supposed to be in the set. And the other is a Ferrari. They show it in all of the advertising panels. Uh, right here, look. Ferrari 348 and a Zinder for Zinder Fact 4. Let me snip through this to save some time. There they are, all the way in the back. There's a Ferrari and, uh, hey, wait a second, that's not Zender Fact. Oh, come on! I got that uh, 20th, 25th anniversary Porsche. I didn't get the Zender Fact 4 that was supposed to be in the set. Oh, well, at least I got the exclusive Ferrari. Oh, excuse me, it is the Gleam Team Porsche. It was a regular issue in the singles. It was out around the 25th anniversary. As promised, coming up next is going to be a, a little tour of the warehouse. It's been a little bit of time. 
got my right uh, over there I got my track room and then we're gonna go right out to the warehouse right after this break here we go time for the tour by the way the audio is gonna be different because I'm not using the microphone when I went to the warehouse I just used my camera right there anyways roll it hey thanks for sticking around let's go ahead and take a quick tour cutie cars cutie cars yeah I want to do some downhill racing here's my main filming area over there is my big track table I have that table set up over there as well I recently did a review on the ground mm, drop down challenge I just filmed it right there I have that boards on the floor by the way because sometimes the carpet uh, curls up starts getting a little bump so I put that piece of board there so I can flatten it out Now this area right here, I used to have a bunch of tubs. Well, there's tubs right there, but I moved them somewhere else. I used to have my Disney cars right here, Truck and Tuesday, all my Truck and Tuesday, anything to do with trucks I had right there. Now I put them over here. Uh, track parts, track parts all stacked up right here. Upcoming uh, track set reviews, track and play set. Oh, it's a little dark. Mm, I guess I better go turn on the lights. Anyways, for epic track battles, I'm going to, I put, uh, well, I don't know if we can see it. I bought one of these uh, background things. So this way, I think I'm going to, I'm going to put a set, another filming table right here. And then put that background. I actually might have to put something behind the background. Because I realize, you know what, the light's going to come through that fabric. Uh, or I can just set it up over here, I'm not sure. But look, this area right here, this is going to have to be used for epic track battles. And this will be the dedicated area for epic track battles. Bunch of multi-packs, five packs. Yep, hopefully I, hopefully I can get some people to come over. We'll ha have some downhill racing. <laughs> my, uh, my Super 6 lane is behind here right now. Uh, that rack that you've seen over there, that rack used to be right here, and I used to have all my Monster Jam on it. 2017 Monster Jam, I would have it right here, and this way whenever I'd buy something, I would just be able to sort it right here. Since I needed multiples, I needed a sorting area for that. But now, now that this area is set up, not only will I have my Super 6 lane, which uh, is back there somewhere, but I'm getting my other ramp set up. This is my uh, big aluminum ramp that I used to do with birthday parties for kids. So I'll have that set up right here. And the reason why this one's going to be better to use to have when I have people come over is because uh, people can stand on the other side back here with, uh, with my Super 6 lane set up over here. Uh, there's nowhere for people to stand on the back. And if they're going to stand on this side to watch while I'm trying to film the race, uh, they could be in the way. Uh, as far as filming tables, now I can turn on the light. As far as filming tables, uh, I got this table right here. When the lady left, she has this big square table. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to push that over into the corner where I'm going to use for epic track battles. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to put it over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to come back here, but I got to start freeing up space. So as you can see right here, here's where the Super 6 lane or my gravity races would be. Monster Jam. I'm going to have my Monster Truck downhill racing right here. Any other downhill racing on a flat slope. And then this one right here, of course, like I said, this one will be put right here. And then there'll be room to stand behind it on the other side. And I think that'll be more functional. And then, like I said, over here, this will be this will be reserved for epic track battles. Why did I realize I was going to need this area for epic track battles? I had talked about in a previous episode how I was going to put my track time layouts on board, and then I could take it, stick it in the warehouse, and then if I want to do more videos on that track time layout, I just take it down, and then I can use it for filming again. The only, the only thing is, is you know what? The door is only that big. Well, no, not that big. So 
it's not easy for me to get that back through the door. I kind of have to tip it on the side, then I have to try to try to carefully go in like this. Well, instead of having that come back through this door, why don't I just make my filming area here? So this way, whatever track layout I use for epic track battles, uh, use it, put it away. Uh, use it, put it away. Use it. Hey, is that fireball? Put it away. Well, there you go. A little behind the scenes of what's going on around here in Race Crew Studios. By the way, on Patreon, I do have a behind the scenes package for those of you who would like extra perks and who are able to. Yep, Patreon, you can join me over there as well for some bonus content. Christopher Poland, that fireball set is amazing. It's a shame that the safety features essentially render the set unusable. A child must have been blasted in the face by a metal car after the initial release, and the addition of the netting was probably a panicked response. It also strikes me as odd that the kid on the back is missing a tooth on one box, but not the other. Retrozone Neon asks Grace Grooves, would you ever consider trying to recreate the ultimate test track to see how well it would actually work? I remember those images and the similar ones on the back of the cards at the time, and only being able to wonder, and eh, I don't have the time to set it up. It would be interesting, and I am doing more track sets, so I get more red track and boosters from that era. I can't say no, but right now, mm, epic track battles. That's what I got to work on. That's what, that's what I keep telling everybody anyways. Let's see. Dr. Buddy, do you think that the Hot Wheels Power Booster Kit is a good starter set? Ask Grace Grooves. Well, you might have seen a stack of them in my... Uh, that little tease that I gave you guys, that little behind the scenes tour. You might have seen a stack of them. I don't have an opinion on them at this time yet. Now, I did do some Johnny Lightning videos this week. You can check my uh, recent videos. I have a Johnny Lightning playlist as well. Got a couple white lightnings in one of the videos. That was very awesome. Now, for the thumbnail, I kind of made it to where you had to look in the background to see the, uh, the couple white lightnings. You might not even have noticed from the thumbnail, but the... Uh, the one I use for Instagram, you can see the two white linings for sure. Count five. What we say in England at a time like this is you don't see a bus for ages and then two come at the same time. Yeah, pretty cool. Go for cases and cases. Never get a chase piece of white lightning. There you go. Bam, bam. Two in separate cases. You don't get them in the same case. But nonetheless, yeah, two came at the same time. I'll take them. Thank you very much. Now, Johnny Lightning, they did send me some uh, some other stuff on the side. Uh, let me just go ahead and let you have a look at them. Toys R Us, they're having these uh, two packs. Well, I don't know if they're exclusive to Toys R Us, but uh, I found them at Toys R Us. But they do have these singles that are exclusive. They're pretty cool, too. This Camaro set's very nice. I didn't see this at Toys R Us. This was gone. Two Camaros, kind of like a 50th anniversary. I think it's a great idea to have two cars from the same make. However, this Volkswagen pack, yeah, I didn't see that one either. Very nice Carmen Ghia. Looks fantastic with those white wild tires. So does this bug right here. I did see this wagon over there at Toys R Us. Very limited. Only 768 pieces. 768. That's almost, that's almost like a chase piece for other brands. And that's definitely why I did not find this one. I love this Dotson. Ain't no way I'm going to find it in the stores, that's for sure. Even when this was part of the regular assortment, I, I didn't see it on the pegs then either. And for this one to be so limited. There you go. Rubber tires, metal base. Both of them. Both models actually come in two colors. You have yellow for the Dotson. Here's the other color for the Caprice Estate. Both colors are very nice. I'm glad to have them both. Uh, I think I only seen the light green in the stores. This one was not in Toys R Us when I went shopping. This casting does come with a tail hook. So if you want to swap it out and tow one of your trailers from your gone fishing sets, you can do that. This one, no tail hook. No towing. Here's the other color of the Datsun. Yep. I think I like this one better. Really nice color. Uh, looks great with these tires. Got louvered windows in the back. Two-tone paint. Something that's nice with the Johnny Lightning packages. They look great to display and you can stand them up as well. Even the two packs. I only had one video on my Off the Pegs channel this week. 
the King Racer 007 at 50 seconds. Is this Hot Wheel based on a licensed car? Well, the character cars, he's at that time, he's talking about the Valkyrie brand new Marvel uh, Valkyrie, brand new Marvel character car for the uh, Thor Ragnarok movie. There's four different models. Uh, I'll give you a link to that video if you'd like to see all of the models. But it, the cars might take influence from other cars, of course. But is it based on a real Hot Wheels car or a real licensed model? Uh, you know, to me, it, it looked like the Corvette, the same Corvette that they modeled the Vet King Monster Jam truck after. Kind of has that same style. And I talked about this in a recent, uh, or in the past, a Race Crews Weekend show. I believe I talked about it. I don't remember the year that that Corvette's based on. To me, it looked like they're both based on the same Corvette. Trucking Tuesday, I did a green light. JNT Gaming, this is my first time watching Trucking Tuesday video and loves it. Thank you for tuning in. I'm pretty good with Trucking Tuesday. Every Tuesday, Trucking Tuesday. We can show sometimes they run a little late. Choco Chip the Pug 1. Hi, Race Crews. Have you ever unboxed a green light case? Because I am a big fan of green light. Just wondering. Only one time a couple years ago. Uh, it's just with the way green light, the way they're set up, and the way what I need for race crews, uh, only one time in the, since I've been doing videos did they send a case. And that was a couple couple years ago. It just doesn't work out. Anyways, coming up next, I still got a whole bunch of content. Ask race crews and comments from last week's week and show. Sure, sure, sure. Last week's week and show coming up next. Here we go, the home stretch. Thank you for sticking around. Links full. Hi, race crews. Where do you buy those plastic white boxes for your cars? Sorry for my English. Well, for my loose cars, I use jammers, or double sided thread organizers. They've had different names. The link is down in the description below. Look for my Amazon link, it's a referral link. And we call them jammers because that's what they were called before. And uh, those are available on Amazon. So you can use that link. Uh, as far as my regularly packaged Hot Wheels, like regularly packaged this size, um, Hot Cases, and they have a website, hotcases.com, and I use those for my blister pack Hot Wheels. And I also use cardboard. I've been using cardboard quite a bit for this stuff that's mm, maybe not quite that special, but thank you for asking. Troppy, your videos are really cool. I have a Ferrari Hot Wheels collection since I'm a big fan of those cars. What's your favorite car? Mine is the Ferrari 458 Italian. And you know what? The Ferrari P4 is one of my favorite Ferraris. It's hard to pick one more than the other, but I love the P4. Thank you for asking. HW Road Beast, Mr. Race Groove. I thought your favorite car was a Chevrolet Avalanche, but it all right. Avalanche is a truck. It's my favorite truck. My favorite car? Well, see, I said Spinebuster because last week in show, Spinebuster, topic came up. Spinebuster is my favorite, let's say, fantasy car. Favorite real car is going to be the Ford GT. But we have lots of favorites, you know, it changes. I just kind of have standard answers because people keep asking. Every week people ask. But nonetheless, nonetheless thank you, sir. Edward Des Desars, Ask Grace Cruz. Mr. Drews, I feel Hot Wheels should be giving you some kind of credit or at least sending you some kind of free product to review because so many of your videos are encouraged me to go out and buy their product. I just picked up the Forza set because of your video. Keep up the great work and I'm sure you're an inspiration to many collectors. I'm one of them. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I've talked about this quite a few times in the weekend show. Welcome to the channel. I, uh, you know, it's not as easy <laughs> as you would think to work with the manufacturers it's just not they want you to give free promotion right but it's like when you even if they sent stuff right it's like it's it's just not, it's just not as easy mr dan and harry i'll be looking for the flash car in that video where i showed box sets one of them was actually character car box set for the new movie i'll be looking for the flash car the old one was different it was the fastest of all my dc cars appropriately I'm curious to see how this one fares on the track. And yeah, you know what? Uh, the Flash. They have a new casting design for the Flash. As a matter of fact, new card art too because it's a new Flash character. Uh, here's, it's been issued a few times in the past. 
Here's one of the card arts. And here's another one. And the new card art where the flash showed up in that box set. Not exclusive to the box set. As far as I know, no indication. Should show up in the singles. Well, I brought out my old flash model so you can compare the two. I'm sure you can tell which one's from the newest movie. Caleb Hamilton, Ask Race Cruz. Hey, Mark, are you still going to do the best of 2014 track time? I love the channel. Keep up the good work. Yeah, it's it's in my it's in my folder of projects to do, but obviously I'm working on a uh, epic track battles. It's a little bit more important for me. Oh yeah, guess what? Ding ding ding! Thousand subscribers. Thank you, Google, for letting me know that. Thousand subscribers on epic track battles. But that's what I got to work on. The, uh, the stuff for the uh, best of 2014, that's going to have to wait. Sorry. JMDH, hopefully he grabbed that super treasure hunt. That was next to the empty red edition blister. Not a very smart thief. Trust me, my friend picked up the super treasure hunt. I was waiting to see who said something. A couple of people posted a comment. Stephen Masur, I think the Toys R Us executives should get their bonuses and Toys R Us gift cards. Ha <laughs> ha, it's good for business. Yeah, Toys R Us. They're in bankruptcy, but yet they want to they want to reserve uh, sixteen million dollars in bonuses. They lost three hundred million dollars this year, three hundred million, and they think, oh yeah, we still deserve sixteen million in bonuses. No, why don't you put that towards your losses? And this way, now you only lost two hundred and eighty-four million. What you think about that? Anyways, you no know gift cards even. You don't get no gift cards. The Cajun Gamer, if YouTube keep YouTube, Cajun Gamer. If YouTube keeps demonetizing your vids, just keep persevering and keep fighting. You got it. Coming up with new styles, new things, all the other channels I talked about. Jaden Jenkins. Man, I remember when I watched you like four years ago. I'm, I've am i grown up now, man. Okay, I'm only 13. But it's still amazing to see an old YouTuber still grinding. Keep up the great work and don't stop loving what you do. I love what I do. It's a great gig. I get to play with toy cars. But it's more than that. It's about building a channel. And I've been working on it for eight years. Thank you for popping back in. Hopefully you stick around a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching another episode of the Race Cruise Weekend Show. Have a great week. Bye-bye.